Hello there and thank you so much for joining us on 13 Action News Live at Midday. I'm Kalina Estrino. So let's start with that progress on the People Mover project. Despite the impact COVID-19 has had on a lot of other construction projects here in the Valley, the one happening at the Convention Center right now is moving along smoothly. We have 13 Action News anchor Marissa Kinnison here to show you what crews accomplished overnight. Marissa? Kalina, the people mover will actually be right underneath where I'm standing, but take a look behind me. You can see crews doing some work here on part of that expansion project. Early this morning, they were able to break through on the second of two tunnels for the project. Now, it's part of the expansion of the convention center, and it's designed to whisk people across the large campus in just over a minute. Construction has been allowed to continue here at the convention center and across the state since Governor Sisolak deemed it essential. Now, construction site jobs have adopted increases in protocols, including keeping workers six feet apart. Several workers on other high profile construction sites, including Allegiant Stadium, have tested positive for COVID-19. But the CEO of the Las Vegas Convention Center says they've been strict about their protocols and have not seen the virus spread at their site. That kind of diligence, as well as the commitment uh, from both the employees and the companies uh, to make sure that those steps are followed, um, really is what has allowed these projects to move forward. The underground people mover is still on schedule to debut in January of next year. Polina. All right, Marissa, thank you so much.